These are the mysterious sayings which Jesus, the Living One, spoke and which Didymos, the twin Judas, who is called Thomas, wrote. Between 8 to 40 days after his resurrection, 1. And he said, Whoever hears these words and discovers their meaning, labors and finds life, see, verse 58, will not ever taste of death the loss of the meaning of these words. 2. Jesus said, The one who seeks for the meaning of these words should not leave off but keep on seeking for it until he finds the mystery. When he finds the meaning, the mystery, he will be troubled, labor and find life, verse 58, and will marvel. When he is troubled and when he marvels then he will be surprised, for he will reign over the world and rule over the all and when he rules then he will rest, the Sabbath rest, in the seventh millennium. 3. Jesus said, Should those who lure and lead you say, Behold, the kingdom is up in the sky, only the religious leaders can understand it, then the birds of the sky, religious leaders, who consume the seed, or word of God, will beat you to it, hide the keys and defraud you of it. Verse 39, Luke chapter 11 verse 52, If they should tell you, it is under the earth, subject to earthly or scholarly teachings, or in the sea, subject to the teachings of the church, then the fish of the sea, Christian leaders, will beat you to it. To it. It is rather that the kingdom is both within you and without you don't need leaders to see it. Those of you who know yourselves, life, light, authority, truth will find out through laboring and finding life that this is true. When you have labored and find out who you are, you will then become known in the biblical sense when Jesus becomes you verse 108 and will recognize that you are the sons of the living father verse 106. But if you do not labor and come to know yourselves, you dwell in fleshly poverty and you are yourselves that poverty fleshly. 4. Jesus said, Let the man who is old in days, religious men at the end of the age, not hesitate to ask a small child of seven days, the elect in the seventh millennium, about the place of life. Verse 50 And he, by asking the elect on that Sabbath day of rest, will come alive by coming to grasp the meaning of these words. For many who are first those influenced by infiltrators, Jude etc. will become last abased stripped of their kingdom and the last the elect first exalted elevated given to reign. They will indeed become one and the same, come to agree with the elect. 5. Jesus said, Know what is before your face, the secret message encoded within the scriptures and what is concealed, the keys to this secret language verse 39, Luke chapter 11 verse 52, from you will be revealed to you. But nothing is hidden by the scribes and Pharisees, verse 39, Luke chapter 11 verse 52, and afterwards the church that will not be revealed, the keys will be restored, nor is anything buried under an earthly teaching that will not be raised, seen in its higher level meaning. 6. His disciples asked him and said to him, How do you want us to fast? Do without the logos, how shall we pray? For the kingdom to come, how shall we give alms? Of our own resources instead of God's. What diet shall we observe? Canon shall we accept? Jesus said, Do not tell lies about what is written in the scriptures, or to what you hate by pursuing the things of this world, for all things are plain in the sight. Interpretation of heaven, the higher meaning. All things are disclosed before truth which is why you don't lie. But nothing is hidden, like the keys that will not be made manifest, and nothing has been covered up by the scribes, Pharisees and later, the Christians that will not be uncovered by the elect. 7. Jesus said, Blessed is the lion, false church that has been devoured by Satan. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 that becomes man, an elect one, becomes enlivened, when consumed, taken over, by man, the elect ones at the end of the age, and cursed is the man of the early church whom the lion, Satan, consumes, infiltrates, Jude chapter 4, etc., and the lion, the devil, as the spirit of Antichrist becomes man, changes Christianity into his image. 8. And he said, The kingdom is like a wise fisherman who cast his net into the sea, Christian era, and drew it up from the sea, Christian age, full of small fish, various Christian denominations. Among them the wise fisherman found a fine, note that, large, is a key that has to do with, fine, large fish, singular teaching, true teaching of Christ. He threw all the small fish back, Christian denominations, into the sea, age of Christendom, and chose the large, fine, fish Christian teaching, without difficulty because it was obvious which one was the finest whoever has two ears to hear verse 33 let him hear both upper and lower teachings 
9 Jesus said, Now the sower, son of man, went out, took a handful of seeds the word, and scattered them across the age. Some of these books fell on the road early church influenced by the traditions road of the scribes and Pharisees see verse 39 Luke chapter 11 verse 52 the birds leaders who inspired by Satan consume the seed or word came and gathered them up confiscated God's word and removed it others fell on the rock the early church did not take root in the stony unprepared soil and did not produce his fruit and others fell on thorns those tempted with the riches of this world they choked the seeds the word and worms ate them removed the apocrypha from the bible and others fell on the good soil the elect of the seventh day and produced good fruit is it for 60 per measure for those of the 6,000 years and 120 per measure a new dimension to or a doubling of the 60. 10. Jesus said, I have cast fire a trial and a judgment upon the world and see, I am guarding it until it blazes, consumes, or else refines. 11. Jesus said, this heaven will pass away, false Christianity and the one above it will pass away, false Judaism. The dead, so-called Christians and Jews are not alive and the living, the elect will not die since it is impossible to fool them with false teachings. In the days when you consumed what is dead, Judeo-Christian teachings, you made it what is alive, recognized it and lived. When you come to dwell in the light, what will you do? On the day early in the church age, when you were one, knew the heavenly and earthly interpretations, you became two, knew only the earthly. But when you become two, divided, what will you do in order to recover the lost unity within? 12. The disciples said to Jesus, We know that you, the way, truth and life will depart from us. Who is to be our leader along the way to truth and life? Jesus said to them, Wherever you are, you are to go to James the righteous, for whose sake heaven and earth, the two, the upper and lower meanings, came into being became one, the higher is couched in the lower. 13. Jesus said to his disciples, Compare me to someone and tell me whom I am like. Simon Peter, the church, said to him, You are like a righteous angel, miracle worker, luminous being. Matthew, who is also known as Levi, the Jews, said to him, You are like a wise philosopher, as in how they always call him Rabbi. Thomas the elect said to him, Master, my mouth is wholly incapable of saying whom you are like. Point one four. Jesus said, I am not your master. Because you have imbibed from his mouth verse 108, you have become intoxicated by the bubbling spring of God's word, which I have measured out in precise terminology, which is why Thomas cannot speak it. And he took him and withdrew from the Jews and Christians and told him three things, that there would be three testaments. When the Gospel of Thomas was later returned at the end of the age to his companions, the Jews and Christians, they asked him, What did Jesus say to you? Explain these secrets to us. Thomas said to them, If I tell you one of the things which he told me about how there would be a third testament, you will pick up stones, the Old and New Testaments, and throw them at, use them against me, a fire, a trial, and a judgment will come out of the stones, testaments, and burn you, Jews and Christians, up. Jesus said to them, If you fast from the word instead of the world, verse 27, you will give rise to sin, a lack of understanding in a sinful age for yourselves, and if you pray for the kingdom to come instead of seeking for it, you will be condemned, and if you give alms as opposed to the keys of knowledge, verse 39, Luke chapter 11 verse 52, you will do harm to your spirits. By focusing on physical needs instead of spiritual, then you go into any land and walk about in the districts throughout all Christendom. If they receive you, accept you, or give you a hearing, eat what they will set before you, use whatever scriptures they accept as authoritative, and heal, restore the mystery to the spiritually sick among them. For what goes into your mouth, scripturally, will not defile you, but that which issues from your mouth against the scriptures, it is that which will defile you. 15. Jesus said, When you see one who is not born of woman, not of Mary, but of spirit and truth, prostrate yourselves on your faces and worship him that one is your father, whose word is truth. John chapter 17 verse 17. 16. Jesus said, Men think, perhaps, that it is peace which I have come to cast upon the world. They do not know that it is dissension which I have come to cast upon the earth, fire, trials, sword, a third sword, or testament issues from his mouth on his return, bringing to the two they already have to three, see Luke chapter 22 verse 36, and war between those of two testaments against those of three. 
but there will be five in a house, those of the two testaments plus those of the three, three, the elect will be against two, false Christians, and at the end of time, two, false Christians, against three, the elect, who return to the earlier teaching, the father, those of the three testaments, against the son, those of the two testaments, and the son, those of the two testaments, against the father, those of the three testaments, and they will stand solitary together as one in the end. 17 Jesus said, I shall give you what no eye has seen as opposed to what has been seen for 2,000 years and what no ear has heard for 2,000 years and what no hand has touched for 2,000 years and what has never occurred to the human mind. The keys of knowledge verse 39, Luke chapter 11 verse 52 is revelation. 18 The disciples said to Jesus, tell us how our end will be. Jesus said, Have you discovered, then, the beginning, that in the beginning the New Testament writers believed in scriptures outside of the canon, that you look for the end, some better proof than that simple fact. For where the beginning is the basic fact of their usage and belief by the New Testament writers, there will the end be, the return to that original understanding. Blessed is he who will take his place in the beginning, will stand with the New Testament writers, he will know the end, the return to the teaching, and will not experience the death of this mystery. 19 Jesus said, Blessed is he who came into being, established the foundation of this mystery before it was lost, before he came into being a second time at the end of the age. If you become my disciples and listen to my words, which witness to these writings from the time the scriptures were originally written, these stones, testaments, will minister, reveal their mysteries to you. For there are five trees for you in paradise, the two groups, those of the two trees, volumes, or dispensations, plus those of the three, which remain undisturbed summer, harvest time and winter, the unfruitful season, and whose leaves, which are for the healing of the nations, do not fall, but remain throughout for us to read, or consume. Whoever becomes acquainted with them, loves both sets of trees and their fruits will not experience or be subject to the death of the mystery. 20. The disciples said to Jesus, Tell us what the kingdom of heaven is like. He said to them, It is like a mustard seed, the smallest of all seeds hidden in the scriptures. But when it falls on tilled soil, a heart prepared to receive and accept it, the elect it produces a great plant tree, or testament, and a teaching, and becomes a shelter for birds of the sky, Christian and Jewish leaders. 21. Mary, the age, who cannot touch him until his higher level is revealed, said to Jesus, Whom are your disciples like? He said, They are like children, the elect who have settled in a field which is not theirs the world. When the owners of the field come, Jews and Christians, the buyers and merchants, they will say, Let us have back our field. Religion excommunicate the elect within them, they will undress in their presence, that is, they remove their religious clothing or affiliations in order to let them have back their field, Christianity, Judaism, and give it back to them, see Revelation chapter 18 verse 4 come out and of her, my people. Therefore I say to you, if the owner, the father of the house of Israel, knows that the thief, Satan, is coming to steal God's word and hide the keys of knowledge verse page 2239, Luke chapter 11 verse 52, Luke chapter 11 verse 52, he will begin his vigil before he comes by revealing his plan to the elect of the early church and will not let him into his house of his domain, the true church, to carry away his goods, scriptures, keys and mysteries. You, disciples, then, be on your guard against the world which has taken over the religious institutions. Arm yourselves with great strength, the couching of the upper in the lower, lest to robbers of God's word find a way to come to you and steal the keys and hide the upper meaning, but its image remains safely preserved and couched in the lower, for the difficulty which you expect the loss of the upper level meaning will surely materialize the mysteries to be subverted and lost for two thousand years. Let there be among you a man of understanding to restore it. When the grain ripened, fell on tilled soil and produced one hundred and twenty-fold, he came quickly with his sickle in his hand and reaped it. Whoever has ears to hear, like the man of understanding, let him hear. 22. Jesus saw infants the elect on the seventh day, being suckled by the true, spiritual mother. He said to his disciples, These infants being suckled are like those who enter the kingdom. They said to him, Shall we, then, as children, enter the kingdom? 
Jesus said to them, When you make the two one, see the lower meanings as images of vessels of the higher ones, and when you make the inside, where the search for the kingdom begins, like the outside, which you discover actually corresponds to your inner self, and the outside like the inside, you replace their image with the Father S, which is spread out over the earth. Verse 113, and the above, what is in the sky, like the below, what is under the earth, or in the sea, and when you make the male, the spiritual seed of the Father and the female, which brings forth fleshly seed. Until the Father S seed is brought forth through the fleshly level by means of the spiritual revelation, one and the same, so that the male, the spiritual level of the scriptures, not be male, not purely spiritual in nature, but as that which is couched in the flesh as well, nor the female, the earthly or fleshly level meaning female, because when the spiritual is discovered to be couched within the fleshly level, it brings forth the holy children, or the elect as spoken of by Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 14. And when you fashion eyes, those two levels of seeing in the place of an eye, the fleshly level only, and a right hand which knows what Jesus is doing, in place of a left hand which doesn't, and a right foot which knows where it is going, in place of a left foot which doesn't, and a higher likeness in place of a lower likeness, seeing the higher is couched in the lower, then will you enter the kingdom. 23. Jesus said, I shall choose you, one out of the chase, a thousand, and two out of the chase, ten thousand, and they shall stand as a single one, Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 30, etc. 24. His disciples said to him, Show us the place where you are, since it is necessary for us to seek it. He said to them, Whoever has both ears, let him hear. There is light, where Jesus, the light of the world is within a man of light, Jesus has become that man, and that the upper meaning, light of Christ, lights up the whole world. If it does not shine, if the light within you, is merely, darkness, only one ear, which only hears the fleshly teachings of men. 25 Jesus said, Love your brother, the elect both in their day, the early rain, and those to come, the latter rain, like your soul, guard him like the pupil of your eye, for indeed, they are your eyes. 26. Jesus said, You see the mote in your brother's eye, your objections to the books he accepts because you look not on the hidden language they convey, but only on their dating and acceptance and credibility etc. But you do not see the beam in your own eye, that your own books refer to them, and that both sets of books unlock to the very same keys. When you cast the beam, the false concept of the canon, out of your own eye, then you will see clearly to back down from your objections, to cast the moat from your brother's eye, your fleshly level objections to his way of seeing. Point 27. Jesus said, Unless you fast unto the world, you will in no way find the kingdom of God, and unless you observe the Sabbath day, the millennium, after the six thousand years, as the Sabbath, one who is at rest in the truth, you will not come to see the Father, the light within those images. 28. Jesus said, I took my place in the midst of the world, and I appeared to the men and on the level of the flesh, as a living parable of his spiritual meaning. I found all of them intoxicated, not from the bubbling spring, but men's words. I found none of them thirsty, for the word, the bubbling spring. And my soul became afflicted, reduced to the level that the fleshly can accept for the sons of men, because they are spiritually blind in their spiritual hearts and do not have spiritual sight, the second eye, ear, etc. For empty, carnal, they came into the world, and empty, carnally, too, they seek to leave the world, satisfied with having only that one eye, ear, etc. But for the moment they are intoxicated on the empty, fleshly, earthly words of men. When they shake off the wine, strong delusion, drunkenness, the spring measured out by men, since they love not the truth then they will repent and drink instead from his bubbling spring which he, not men, has measured out. Point 29. Jesus said, if the flesh, the lower level of the scriptures, came into being because of spirit that the higher, spiritual level is couched in the lower, physical level, it is a wonder. But if spirit, the higher level meaning, by means of the holy, elect children came into being because of the body, born of the woman, or the flesh and blood, reproducing after the lower, fleshly meaning of the scriptures, it is a wonder of wonders. Indeed, I am amazed at how this great wealth, the higher level meaning of the scriptures, has made its home, couched itself in this poverty, the lower level meaning of the scriptures. 30. Jesus said, Where there are three gods, as in the God of the Old, New, and Apocryphal Testaments, they gods, Jesus has become them. 
where there are two testaments, the Christians, or one testament, the Jews, I am with him until the end of the age. The three are the elect, the two are the Christians of the same house, and the Jews are the one and are another house, raise the stone, elevate the rejected testament, and there you will find me, the cornerstone, cleave the wood, seek the higher level in the New Testament, and there I, the logos, am. 31 Jesus said, No prophet is accepted in his own village. Jesus is not accepted by the Jews. No physician heals those who know him. Jesus cannot cure the Christians of their unbelief. 32 Jesus said, A city, the New Jerusalem, being built on a high mountain, Judeo Christianity, and fortified in time by God, S word, cannot fall. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it, nor can it be hidden. The whole world will see it. 33 Jesus said, You hear the lower level meaning with one of your ears but the other one which understands the higher level you have closed. Preach from your house stops that which you will hear in your one ear that which has been taught previously. The trees or testaments as well as in the other spiritual ear that which was taught at first and rediscovered. The three trees for no one lights a lamp. The word of God. Psalm chapter 119 verse 105 and puts it the word under a bushel nor does he put it the word in a hidden place the word apocrypha means taken away and hidden but rather he sets it on a lampstand proclaims it in the church revelation chapter 1 verse 20 so that everyone who enters the kingdom and leaves the kingdom will see its light which is the high level meaning contained in god's word 34 Jesus said if a blind man false Jews with their false image or canon leads the blind man false Christians who use this tactic as a reason to murder the prophets and exile the apostles so they can take over the church they will both fall into a pit the pitfall of seeing only the lower level therefore captivity will be taken captive and those who kill with the sword of God s word must later be killed with that same sword of God s word 35 Jesus said it is not possible for anyone to enter the house of a strong man the house of God under Satan's control and take it by force at the end of days unless he binds his hands builds a case against him for 2000 years then he will be able to ransack reveal the crimes of his house expose the deeds of false religion as well as the lie they base it on 36 Jesus said do not worry from dawn the initial revelation of the mysteries and keys in the early church to dusk the subsequent concealment and suppression of those mysteries and keys and from dusk the time of the suppression to dawn the seventh millennium when the morning star arises in our hearts about what food scriptures you will eat accept or what clothing you will wear your particular denomination you are much better than the lilies, the elite of the world, which is the field, which neither card nor spin, for the kingdom of God. And for your part, what will you wear, when you have no clothing? No religion will take you because you side with the prophets against them who would add to your stature. Lead you into your true nature, like Jesus, Moses and Elijah were during the transfiguration. It is he who will give you your true clothing, the righteousness of the saints. Job chapter 29 verse 14, Revelation chapter 19 verse 8. 37. His disciples said, When will you, the living word, become revealed to us and when shall we see you? Jesus said, When you disrobe, leave the religious establishment without being ashamed and take up your garments, denominations, differences, and place them under your feet like little children, the elect, and tread on them, reject them, throw the small fish back into the sea, then, will you see, the Son of the Living One, and thus be like Him, for when we see the Son, we see Him, and in seeing Him, we become as His, and hence you will not be afraid, for He is perfect love, which casts out all fear. 1 John chapter 4 verse 18. 38. Jesus said, Many times have you desired to hear spiritually with the other, spiritually of these words which I am saying to you, and you have no one else to hear them from, as in this book? There will be days, the two spiritual days, or two thousand years, when you look for me, seek my meaning, or logos, and will not find me, the meaning of these words. 39. Jesus said, the Pharisees and the scribes, and later, the early church infiltrators, have taken the keys of knowledge, of the higher level meaning, see also Luke chapter 11 verse 52, and hidden them behind the fleshly locks of earthly images. They themselves have not entered by knowledge of these keys into the kingdom, nor have they allowed to enter those who wish to, seeing as they saw the light within those images and suppressed them, thereby blaspheming the Holy Spirit. 
you, however, be as wise as serpents, the scribes and Pharisees, Matthew chapter 23 verse 33, 12, 34, etc., and as innocent as doves the elect. 40. Jesus said, A great vine, the false church, has been planted outside of the Father, the knowledge of the mystery, but being unsound, rooted in the teachings of men, it will be pulled up by its roots and destroyed by Jesus, the true vine, John chapter 15 verse 1. 41. Jesus said, Whoever has something in his hand, the true wealth, a grasp on this concept, will receive more keys, revelations, insights, power, and whoever has nothing, the poverty, or no grasp on this concept, will be deprived of even the little he has, temporal power, power over the church. Point 42. Jesus said, Become passers by, fast from the world. Verse 27. Become solitary, etc. 43. His disciples said to him, Who are you, that you should say these things to us? 44. Jesus said, Whoever blasphemes against the Father, Old Testament era and scriptures will be forgiven, and whoever blasphemes against the Son, New Testament era and scriptures will be forgiven, but whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit, who will lead us into a proper understanding of both the Old Testament and the New Testament, thereby revealing the Third Testament, will not be forgiven either on earth, the earthly argument against them will be compelling, or in heaven, the spiritual argument against them will be compelling. 45. Jesus said, Grapes, the fruits of Christianity and the New Testament are not harvested from thorns. Christians, when they are worldly and rich, nor are figs, the fruits of Judaism and the Old Testament gathered from thistles, false Jews, synagogue of Satan, for they do not produce fruit, scriptural produce. A good man brings forth good from his storehouse, his heart leads him to the good fruit, an evil man brings forth evil things from his evil storehouse, which is in his heart, and says evil things, his evil fruit. For out of the abundance of the heart he brings forth evil things, which prevents people from recognizing the mystery. 46. Jesus said, Among those born of women, Adam after the flesh could be said to have been born a second time, by means of Eve's transgression and his subsequent acquiescence from Adam until John the Baptist. There is no one so superior to John the Baptist that his eyes should not be lowered before him. Yet I have said whichever one of you comes to be a child, one of the elect will be acquainted with the kingdom as John the Baptist was and will become superior to John, because this time around, they will actually succeed. 47. Jesus said, It is impossible for a man to mount two horses' kingdoms or to stretch two bows fight both for band against each side, and it is impossible for a servant, an elect one, to serve two masters, God and Satan, otherwise he will honor the one and treat the other contemptuously. No man drinks old wine, old teachings, and immediately desires to drink new wine, teachings. And new wine, teaching, is not put into old wine skins, students followers, lest they burst, nor is old wine, teaching, put into a new wine skin, student, lest it spoil it as the old, false concept of the canon did to the early Christians. An old patch, teaching, is not sewn onto a new garment, religion, because a tear would result in a new religion. 48. Jesus said, If two, the old and new wineskins make peace with each other in this one house of God, they will say to the mountain, the world system, the religious establishment, move away, and it will move away. 49. Jesus said, Blessed are the solitary and elect for, being apart from the religious establishment, you will, through your labors, find the kingdom. For you are from it, we bat our understanding on early Christianity, and to it, the original teaching, you will return. 50. Jesus said, If they, Jews and Christians, say to you, The elect, where did you come from? Say to them, We came from the light, higher level of the word, the place where the light, spiritual meaning, came into being on its own accord and established itself, and became manifest through their image, the lower, physical meanings. If they say to you, Is it you? Say, We are its children, we are brought forth from it, in order to finish what was left for us to do. We are the elect of the living Father, if they ask you. What is the sign of your Father in you? Say to them, it is movement and repose, to labor and to find life through it. When we rule, then we will rest. That we have at long last recovered the truth involves taking over the world and resting upon the word of God. 51. His disciples said to him, When will the repose of the dead, the Jews and Christians, come about, and when will the new world come? 
He said to them, what you look forward to, the teaching which was from the beginning, has already come, the original Judeo-Christian teaching, but you, because the keys were taken and hidden, do not recognize it. 52. His disciples said to him, 24 prophets spoke in Israel, the 24 books of the Hebrew canon, later adopted by the Protestants, and all of them spoke in you. The traditional Christian teaching, that we would know Jesus through the canon. He, the living word of God, which is not subject to the dead, or the false Christians and Jews, said to them, You have omitted the one living in your presence, that the word of God uses books outside the canon, and have spoken, only of what the dead, false Jews and Christians have said. His disciples said to him, Is physical circumcision beneficial or not? He said to them, If it were beneficial, their father, the light within the image of the flesh, would beget them already circumcised in the flesh, from their fleshly, mother, physical, surface level teaching, traditions, etc. Rather, the true circumcision in spirit has become, over process of time, completely profitable, such that we can now transcend the fleshly teaching. 54. Jesus said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, who have been deprived of the wealth of the spirit, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. The restoration of the keys and the higher level insight. 55. Jesus said, Whoever does not hate his father and his mother, Jewish or Christian, traditions, institutions, etc., cannot become a disciple to me, since their traditions prevent them from accepting the excluded scriptures that the biblical writers so plainly did accept, and whoever does not hate his brothers and sisters, fellow Christians and Jewish brothers and sisters, and take up his cross. Note, this is near the midpoint, in the manuscript, there is a symbol here called a storogram, which no one ever tells you about. You can search for it on the internet. If you read the book as if this were a kind of hinge, reading 114, with the prologue, 113 with verse 2, etc., you will find that they are exists a discernible correspondence all the way to this midpoint. It doesn't follow our versification exactly, but it is there. In my way, accepting the books that he and the New and Old Testament writers accepted will not be worthy of me, Jesus actually becoming you and restoring you to your proper stature. 56. Jesus said, Whoever has come to understand the world and how it hides the spiritual behind a fleshly faciati has found only a corpse, tradition, poverty, the word without spiritual insight and whoever has found a corpse that the worldly images serves this function is superior to the world, not subject to its delusion. 57. Jesus said, The kingdom of the Father is like a man who had good seed, the word. His enemy, Satan and his people, the Judases, came by night this 2000 year age of darkness and sowed weeds, false teachings, teachers among the good seed, word of God. The man, God, did not allow them, the angels, to pull up the weeds by revealing the truth before the 2000 years were up, he said to them, I am afraid that you will go intending to pull up the weeds, false, lower level teachings and pull up the wheat fruit along with them and since he didn't, we have this book that testifies against them in our time, for on the day of the harvest, the seventh day, or millennium, the weeds, false doctrines will be plainly visible and they will be pulled up out of the churches and synagogues and burned when the fire blazes and the sword, the third testament and war between those of the two and of the three testaments breaks out. 58. Jesus said, Blessed is the man who has suffered from the 2000 years of false teaching and has overcome the world found life, the keys, the light of the higher level teaching. 59. Jesus said, Take heed of the living one while you are alive before the infiltrators rob you of the mystery contained within you, lest you die, become subject to the teachings of the dead, and seek to see him, the living one, and be unable to do so. The keys that would allow you to have been taken away and hidden. 60. A Samaritan, those of a small and limited canon, carrying a lamb on his way to Judea. He said to his disciples, why does that man carry the lamb, Christianity, around? They said to him, so that he may kill it with their own teachings and eat it, read it in their own way. He said to them, while it is alive, able to change them and bring them alive, he will not eat, read, accept it, but only when he has killed it with his own teachings and that the word has become a corpse, part of the corpus of scriptures only, lacking spirit and life. They said to him, he cannot do so, grasp the living word, otherwise. 
He said to them, you two, look for a place for yourself within the repose the time between the loss and recovery of the mystery, lest you, New Testament, and apocryphal New Testament writers, become a corpse, stripped of your higher meanings, and be eaten, accepted on the level of their dead understanding. 61. Jesus said, two types will rest 2,000 year repose on a bed. The church, the one who will not become a disciple, will die, and the other, like Salome, will become a disciple and will live, recover the mystery. Salome, mother of James and John, read Mark chapter 15 verse 40 alongside Matthew chapter 27 verse 56, said to him, Who are you, man, that you, as though from the one, the undivided, as opposed to those who divide God's word, have come up on my couch, where she eats and eaten from my table? Jesus said to her, I am he who exists from the undivided. I was given to eat some of the things of my father from her table. I am your disciple. I accept what you accept, therefore I say, if he is accepts everything in the scriptures, even those that refer to books outside the canon, he will be filled with light and thus live, but if he is divided, d-o-e-s-n-t accept all that Jesus seeks, or accepts, he will be filled with darkness, die. 62. Jesus said, It is to those who are worthy of my mysteries, who labor, see, ask and knock in spirit and truth and find life, that I tell my mysteries. Give them the keys to unravel these mysteries, do not let your left hand, those who do not know these keys, know what your right hand, those who knew and those who come to know, is doing. 63. Jesus said, there was a rich man, the infiltrators of the church, who had much money, the true wealth, or keys of knowledge. He said, I shall put my money to use, hide these keys and replace them with my own teaching, so that I may so, reap a plant, for my own selfish purposes and fill my own, storehouse with produce, for my own power and glory and gain, with the result that I, thus taking the kingdom by treachery, shall lack nothing. Such were his intentions, but that same night, the 2000 year age he died, himself lost the keys to the truth. Let him who has ears both levels of understanding, hear. 64. Jesus said a man had received visitors. And when he had prepared the dinner, the feast of God's eternal word, he sent his servant, the prophets, to invite guests believers. He went to the first one, the early church infiltrators, and said to him, My master invites you. He said, I have claims against some merchants, the false Jews who had hidden the keys. Verse 39, Luke chapter 11 verse 52. They are coming to me this evening, as the day or time of understanding fades away. I must go and give them my orders, imitate their ways, so that I may profit as they did. I ask to be excused from the dinner, I will not accept all of these scriptures. He went to another, the church shortly after the takeover, and said, My master has invited you. He said to him, I have just bought a house, established a church, and am required for the day. Like the day laborers who each get at an areas. I shall not have any spare time, my work is more important. He went to another, the Protestants, and said to him, My master invites you. He said to him, My friend is going to get married, marriage supper of the lamb, and I am to prepare the banquet. The canon shall be as I said it. I shall not be able to come. Because your banquet involves more of God's word than I teach or accept, I ask to be excused from the dinner. I reject your food, your scriptures, he went to another, the Christians at the end of the 2000 year age, and said to him, my master invites you, to eat, or accept all the books as the prophets have. He said to him, I have just bought a farm, I am completely invested by now, and I am on my way to collect the rent. It is time for me to cash in on my sheep who have nothing else now to believe in but me. I shall not be able to come. I ask to be excused, I reject these scriptures. The servant, the prophets, returned and said to his master, Those whom you invited to the dinner, the Christian religious establishment, have asked to be excused. The master said to his servant, Go outside of the religious establishment, to the streets, the Gentiles, the rabble, prostitutes and tax collectors as at first with the Jews, and bring back those whom you happen to meet, anyone good or bad, you, me, whomever, so that they may dine, except the words being revealed in the feast of God, S word, businessmen and merchants, religious leaders, See Revelation chapter 13 verse 17 Will not enter, by choice, the places of my father. 65. He said, there was a good man, God, who owned a vineyard, the church. 
He leased it with the expectation of profit to tenant farmers church leadership so that they might work it and he might collect the produce from them. Though they actually wanted it for themselves verse 63 he sent his servant the fullness of the scriptures so that the tenants might give him the produce fruits mysteries increase of the vineyard church. They seized his servant the prophets and beat him them all but killing him killed and eaten. The servant went back and told his master. The master said perhaps the church before the reformation did not recognize the scriptures he sent another servant with the issue of the approval of the apocrypha the tenants beat verbally abused this one these books as well. Then the owner God the Father sent his son at his second coming and said perhaps they will show respect to my son when he reveals himself through the scriptures and the elect because the tenants church leaders knew that it was he who was the heir to the vineyard about to return they seized him and killed him denied him the third time like Peter did. Let him who has ears at the time of the end hear. 66 Jesus said show me the stone testament which the builders Jewish and Christian leaders have rejected. That one is the cornerstone, keystone or testament. 67 Jesus said whoever believes that the all, the entire vol of God's writings itself is deficient, Jews and Christians is himself completely deficient. Divided, 2, not 1, 68, Jesus said, Blessed are you when you are hated and persecuted by so-called Jews and Christians. Wherever you have been persecuted in your beliefs and the higher level understanding, they will find no place basis for it. 69, Jesus said, Blessed are they who have been persecuted within themselves, broken away from false teachings. It is they who have truly come to know the Father, do not receive what flesh and blood says, but the Father. Blessed are the hungry, for the feast of God's word, for the belly of him who desires to know the truth, the keys will be filled with the knowledge of the mystery. Point 7.0 Jesus said, if you bring forth what is within you, contained within the scriptures, what you bring forth, the mystery of the higher level meaning, will save you. If you, willingly, do not bring forth what is within you, the keys, the mystery, the higher level meaning, what you do not bring forth from the scriptures will destroy you by keeping you bound up in the superficial meaning. 71 Jesus said, I shall destroy this house, old Jerusalem, Judaism and Christianity, the grapevine planted apart from the Father and no one will be able to rebuild it because the lies they built their house on will be exposed in time. 72 A man religious leader said to him tell my brothers fellow Christians and Jews to divide my father's possessions the scriptures congregations with me. He said to him O man who has made me a divider like this man has. He turned to his disciples those who knew the mystery of the undivided scriptures and said to them I'm not a divider am I? Meaning they know that there is only one true teaching the large fish sheep etc. 73 Jesus said the harvest as the fruit of God's word is great but the laborers the elect are few beseech the Lord therefore to send out laborers to the harvest he said O oh Lord there are many around the drinking trough the cannon or that which contains the water or word but there is nothing in the cistern their focus is on the cistern or cannon and so cannot draw out any more water or word from it 75 Jesus said many are standing at the door the word John chapter 10 verse 9 but it is the solitary who do not agree with the many who will enter the bridal chamber because they see things apart from tradition 76 Jesus said the kingdom of the father is like a merchant religious leader who had a consignment of merchandise his traditions and who discovered a pearl a stone a testament which forms unseen and by way of irritation that merchant religious leader was shrewd like the wise fisherman verse 8 he sold the merchandise worthless tradition and bought the pearl the unfailing and enduring mystery alone apart from tradition for himself you too seek his unfailing and enduring hidden treasure pearl which endures even to our time where no moth the early church which ate the seed or word comes near to devour and no worm the protestants who downgraded the apocrypha destroys Jesus said, It is I who am the light which is above them all, luminaries of this world. It is I who am the all. From me did the all come forth, and unto me, at the end of time, did the all extend. 
slit discerned both the spiritual and physical levels a piece of wood meaning the cross the New Testament and I am there. The light above them all, the higher level meaning, lift up, elevate, accept, proclaim, the stone, the rejected testament, the keystone and you will find me there, the light in both sets of scripture. 78 Jesus said, why have you come out into the desert? Waterless place apart from the water of God, S word, to see a read, the word canon is derived from the word read, shaken by the wind of God, S doctrine and to see a man clothed in fine, religious or secular garments like your kings and your great men, who are all in collusion upon them of the fine garments, externals, or superficial greatness, association with an organization or religion and they are unable to discern the truth because they lack internal greatness, or true substance. 79. A woman from the crowd said to him, Blessed are the womb, Judaism, see Galatians chapter 1 verse 15, which bore you in the breast. Old and New Testaments which nurtured you. Christianity, he said to her, Blessed are those, the elect, who have heard the word of the Father, spirit level, as opposed to the mother, which is the flesh and blood level, and have truly kept it, as opposed to the Jews and Christians, who did not. For there will be days, the two spiritual days, the two thousand years given over to Satan to try the church, when you will say, Blessed are the womb which has not conceived true Judaism, Christianity, and the breast the word of God in its higher sense which have not given milk the teachings for those not ready for the meat of the word 80 Jesus said he who has recognized the world the worldly level teaching has found the body the corpse or corpus of dead teachings but he who has found the body has found out about the death of the mystery is superior to the world exercises power over those worldly teachings 81 Jesus said, Let him who has grown rich found the true wealth of the higher teachings be king, be granted the right to speak and to teach, and let him who possesses power, the elite and the rulers of the church renounce it, their authority. Jesus said, He who is near me, the word, is near the fire, trial and judgment, also persecution, and he who is far from me, the word, is far from the kingdom, the higher level understanding. Point 83, Jesus said, The images, the lower level meanings into which the higher ones are couched, are manifest to man, because they are the surface level meanings, but the light in them, higher level meanings, unveiled by the keys, remains concealed in the image, locked in the various names and objects actions, etc., of the light. Light, higher level meaning of the Father. He, the Father of lights, will, in due time, become manifest, but his image, how he is hidden in the lower level meaning, will remain concealed by his light, which uses those images to hide itself. 84. Jesus said, When you see your likeness, what you yourself project onto the scriptures, you rejoice, because it suits you to see yourself and not God in them. But when you see your images, recognize that they speak of you, which came into being before you, and that they were written before these things happened, and which neither die, continue to be passed down for the two thousand years, nor become manifest, since you do not recognize the light within them, how much guilt you will have to bear in that day. 85. Jesus said, The first Adam came into being from a great power, God, and a great wealth, knowledge, but he did not become worthy of you, who are entrusted with the truth. For had he been worthy to have the mystery revealed to him, he would not have experienced death. Fallen prey to weakness and ignorance. 86. Jesus said, The foxes, like Herod, who knew the truth which he got from John, have their holes their places within earthly institutions, and the birds, religious leaders, have their nests, high offices, but the Son of Man has no place, offers a position, to lay his head and rest. For the two thousand years, 87 Jesus said, Wretched is the body, lifeless Christian canon, church, that is dependent upon a body, lifeless Jewish canon, synagogue, and wretched is the soul, human reasoning, according to the secret book of James, that is dependent on these two, their superficial understanding of the two dead testaments. 88 Jesus said, The angels, the elect, and the prophets of the scriptures will come to you after the two thousand years and give you a proper understanding of those things you already have the two sets of scriptures, Old and New Testaments. 
and you to give them those things which you, Jews and Christians, have money, power, resources, access to media, recognition and say to yourselves, when will they, the owners of the field or the world, come and take what is theirs, so we can remove our religious garments and renounce the world? 89. Jesus said, Why do you wash with the word, the outside, superficial nature of the cup container of water or word of God, meaning the canon? Do you not realize that he who made the inside, the hidden meaning of the scriptures contained within that canon is the same one who made the outside? The canon, or container in which the hidden meaning could be preserved for the 2000 years. 90. Jesus said, Come unto me, the logos, or higher understanding, for my yoke is easy to understand, and my lordship, unlike the Jews and Christians, is mild, and you will find repose for yourselves, from the labor and futility of the fleshly level understanding laid upon you by them. 91. They said to him, Tell us who you are so that we may believe in you. He said to them, You read the face superficial aspects of the sky, upper meaning, and of the earth, lower meaning, but you have not recognized the one who is before you, who is the heavenly and couched within the veil of the earthly, and you do not know how to read this moment, which is the heavenly logos presenting itself in the image of an earthly nature. 92. Jesus said, See, for the truth, and you will find keys, the mystery, etc. Yet, what you asked me about in former times, how to read the scriptures, and which I did not tell you then, what they were not able to accept, John chapter 16 verse 12, now, at the end, I did desire to tell, unveil the meaning, but you do not inquire after it, since the traditions of men are accepted. 93. Do not give what is holy, the keys, mysteries to dogs, scribes, Pharisees, false Jews, lest they throw them on the dung heap, hide the keys, verse 39, Luke chapter 11 verse 52, do not throw the pearl, the keys, mysteries, to swine, false Christians, lest they grind it, to bits, obliterate, anathematize the keys, mysteries and higher level meanings. 94. Jesus said, He who seeks will find, and he who knocks at the door of God, S word, John chapter 10 verse 9, will be let in. The word of God will open up to him and he will gain entrance into the kingdom. Jesus said, If you, those of the early church, have money, keys, mysteries, the true wealth, do not lend it at interest, as a buyer or seller, for your own gain, but give it to one, the elect who are to come, verse 109, from whom you will not get it back. 96. Jesus said, The kingdom of the Father is like a certain woman, the Holy Spirit. She took a little leaven, teaching, Luke chapter 12 verse 1, concealed it in some dough, scriptures, and made it into large, fine, loaves, testaments. Let him who has ears, two levels of understanding, hear. 97. Jesus said, The kingdom of the Father, which comes from a proper insight into the scriptures, is like a certain woman, the church, who was carrying a jar full of meal. Like the cistern, cup, or the twenty-four prophets, etc., a container full of the word and its understanding, the complete scriptures. While she was walking on a road, the road is representative of both traditions and time, that which has been traveled and taught before, so again, still some distance from home, the kingdom, the handle of the jar broke, the faulty concept of the canon led to the loss of scriptures and the meal, scriptures along with their understanding emptied out behind her in time on the road, over time, due to this confusion. She did not realize it, the church took this tradition for granted because the Jews had done it before, she had noticed no accident, she imagined she was doing God's will. When she reached her house, when the church was centralized, organized and established, she set the jar down, established an official canon, and found it empty. Since all she was left with was the surface level understanding, like the empty cistern in verse 74. 98. Jesus said, The kingdom of the Father is like a certain man, Jesus, who wanted to kill a powerful man, Satan, in his own house of God where judgment begins 1 pt. 4.17. He drew his sword, the word, see Revelation chapter 2 verse 16, etc. and stuck it into the wall, the church's defenses, in order to find out whether his hand deeds across time could carry through. Then, when he had finished his works and had followed through on his word, he slew the powerful man, the devil, who through spirit of Antichrist, has run Christendom for 2,000 years.
99. The disciples said to him, Your brothers and your mother after the flesh, Jews and Christians, are standing outside of the door, but will not enter. He said to them, Those here, who have entered through the door, who do the will of my Father, believe the one whom the Father has sent. John chapter 6 verse 29 are my spiritual brothers and my spiritual mother. It is they, my spiritual family, who will enter through the door, which is the word, into the kingdom of my Father. 100. They showed Jesus a gold coin and said to him, Caesar's men demand taxes from us. He said to them, Give Caesar what belongs to Caesar, gold coins, taxes, honor, etc. Give God what belongs to God, the truth he gave the keys, and give me what is mine. That is our own selves. 101. Whoever does not hate his father and his mother, Christianity and Judaism, as Ida cannot become a disciple to me, since they keep you from seeing him. And whoever does not love his spiritual father who disciplines us, and his mother who gives spiritual birth to us as I do, who brought him forth in spirit and truth, cannot become a disciple to me, since it takes spiritual rebirth and discipline. For my false, physical, mother religion as opposed to his true mother below gave me death the fleshly understanding, but my true spiritual mother, the comforter, gave me true spiritual life. 102. Jesus said, Woe to the Pharisees, who hid the keys. Verse 39, Luke chapter 11 verse 52, For they like a dog, an unclean animal, sleeping spiritually in the manger, where the food or word is of oxen, Jewish laity, who tread out the corn or word of God, for neither does he eat, except it, nor does he let the oxen eat, because they hid the keys and suppressed the truth. 103. Jesus said, Fortunate is the man, the elect of the early church, who knows where the brigands will enter, not through the door, but some other way, so that he may get up, to take countermeasures, muster his domain, attach the higher level to the lower by means of keys, and arm himself before they invade. Be prepared by so doing to recover his mystery in due time. 104. They said to Jesus, Come, let us pray today and let us fast. Jesus said, What is the sin that I have committed, that I should pray, or wherein have I been defeated? That we should fast from the mystery. But when the bridegroom leaves the bridal chamber, when people will search at the logos and not find it, then let them fast from the word of God and pray, forgiveness for having sinned and being defeated. 105. Jesus said, He who knows the spiritual father and the spiritual mother, the elect will be called the son of a harlot. He will come out of the great whore of Babylon, religion, see Revelation chapter 18 verse 4. 106. Jesus said, when you make the two one, recognize the spiritual light is couched in the earthly images by means of keys, you will become the sons of man, next level humanity, beings of light, and when you say, mountain, religious establishment, Babylon, Sodom and Egypt, Jerusalem, Rome, move away, it will move away. 107. Jesus said, The kingdom is like a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. Many different versions of Christianity, one of them, the largest true Christian teaching, like the large fish of verse 8, went astray for the sheep that was not of this fold. John chapter 10 verse 16, not the same type of Christianity as the 99. He left the 99 sheep and looked for that one for 2,000 years until he found it. When he had gone to such trouble after the 2000 years, he said to the sheep, I care for you more than the 99, because this one was required to restore the fall to its original number. 108. Jesus said, He who will drink the word from my mouth, his words, rather than from a cup or cannon, will become like me. We shall see him as he is, know the truth and be set free from religion, which needs a cup or cannon. I myself shall become he, John Page, 947 to 37 minus 39, etc. And the things that are hidden, the keys, the understanding of this and other scriptures will become revealed to him. 109. Jesus said, The kingdom is like a man in the early church who had a hidden treasure. This spiritual level revelation in his field religion where the seed was sown across this worldly age without knowing it. The Logos was in the world but it did not know, John 1.10, and after he died, he lost sight of the keys, their mystery, and the scriptures being held back, he left it to his son, the Protestants. The son did not know about the treasure. 
He inherited the field, the scriptures on an earthly level, and sold it and the treasure of knowledge in the process along with the rejected books. And the one who bought it, the elect who believed the word, vent plowing, created good tilled soil in his heart for the word, and by doing so, found the treasure, the keys, mysteries, and the upper level meaning. He began to lend money at interest to whomever he wished using the money given by one who would not get it back verse 95 110 jesus said whoever finds the world the worldly understanding of our religion the lower level meaning of the scriptures and becomes rich recognizes true wealth of the upper level meaning let him renounce the world the field which has brought forth such abominations as the destruction of the word of god and ourselves with it 111 Jesus said the false dichotomy which exists between the heavens and the earth the keys or heavenly meanings couched in earthly vessels will be rolled up in your presence or perhaps rolled up into one as in they become one before your very eyes and one who lives from the living God drinks the word from his mouth verse 108 will not see death will not lose sight of the mystery does not Jesus say whoever finds himself is superior to the world and thus has the power to renounce and destroy it, such that it is rolled up in our presence. 112 Jesus said, Woe to the flesh, the fleshly level interpretation that depends on the soul, reason, as explained in secret James chapter 3 verse 18, Woe to the soul, reasoning, that depends on the flesh, lower level, fleshly ideas that stem from not having the keys. 113 His disciples said to him, When will the kingdom come? It will not come by waiting for it. It must be sought for, asked for, knocked upon, found, received and opened up to us. It will not be a matter of saying, here it is or there it is, in the sky or sea, as our leaders may tell us. Verse 3. Rather, the kingdom of the Father is spread out upon the earth, hidden in earthly terminology in other words, and men do not see it, because the keys have been taken and hidden. 114 Simon Peter the church said to him let Mary out of whom the seven demons of the age of flesh were cast leave us the women those who through the flesh deliver us into the world of the flesh are or by this analogy anyway would seem to be not worthy of life the church cannot imagine Jesus transforming the lower physical or female into the upper or spiritual or male Jesus said, I myself shall lead her, that is, the world itself unfolds as Jesus would have it, in order to make her male, cause that which brings forth beings of flesh to cease, and to instead bring forth spiritual beings, so that she too may become a living spirit resembling you males, living spirits. For every woman, fleshly person, for even we men are called the bride of Christ, who will make herself male, spiritual, will enter the kingdom of heaven, because he makes us like himself. This is original Bible scripture which has been removed from the Bible and is still known to many Catholics. These are the prophetic spoken words of Jesus Christ himself made to a man named Thomas. They describe perfectly this very point in human history, giving a very detailed and 100% accurate explanation of the Mandela Effect. You, me and all other Mandela affected folk are described by Jesus himself as the elect humans who have been deemed worthy after 2000 years via our individual thirst for truth and knowledge to whom have been granted the keys of life, death, heaven and the knowledge of everything. Just as Thoth describes too, we are end time angels here to replace the evil elite of this world, those who stole and kept hidden this knowledge from the rest of humanity to benefit themselves. Currently we're going through a process of transformation into the highest spiritual form that humanity can achieve or as Jesus puts it, we will become known as the elect angels of the third testament yet to be written.